Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 1st of 2020, well, it is titled Solus Locus the eye of Mars. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the planet Mars known as the red planet and the red planet because of iron in the soil that gives it kind of a rusty, ruddy, reddish brown color and a very distinct color that we see here. Now we can see a lot of the other features as well, including the polar cap down at the southern hemisphere. And those polar caps both in the southern and northern hemisphere do grow and shrink with the seasons. We can also see a number of features on it some darker areas. And if we look a little bit uh, to the left and below center, we see a kind of a rounded feature that is sometimes known as the eye of Mars giving the impression that Mars may be looking at us. Now, of course, it's just a random uh, set of patterns on the surface. And our eyes like to put some kind of uh, a pattern into randomness. So our eyes do not like randomness in nature. So we always look to put patterns there as we do with clouds and trying to find what they what those what those look like. What do they what does the image in it resemble? So we do the same thing on Mars. And one of the things that this did a little over a century ago was to convince uh, people for a while, at least some people, that there were canals on Mars. Now high resolution photos uh, taken back with the first Mariner missions back in the 1960s showed that there were no canals on Mars. But prior to that, and especially back in the late 18 and early 1900s, it was thought that there might be canals on Mars as possibly evidence of some kind of civilization. However, it turns out they were just an optical illusion that people saw patterns here. And as at that time, most recordings were done by hand and drawing, our minds tended to put patterns where nothing was there. So people saw more and more elaborate uh, canal systems as they began to compare drawings and it became the thought that there maybe there was some kind of life on Mars that was creating these. Now of course we now know that that is not the not correct and actually shortly after uh, even in the earlier 1900s we, we knew this but of course it was finally confirmed by the Mariner spacecraft. Now Mars is approaching opposition in October, in fact, October the 13th, so less than two weeks away now. And that means that it is opposite to the sun in the sky, and that it will rise as the sun sets and set as the sun rises, and it will be up all night. So it's the best time to be able to view Mars. And it will also be it at its largest so it'll be its largest size so if you're looking at it through a telescope you would have a chance to see the largest image of Mars that you will have for a little while now now even though it is that large it is largest it will still be uh, only a little more than one one hundredth the diameter of a full moon so it's still going to be very small and you would need a telescope to be able to see the disk of Mars. But there is a good chance to see Mars right now and lasting over the next couple of months. So that was our picture of the day for October the 1st of 2020. It was titled Solus Lacus, the Eye of Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be dust in space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.